in this session we are going to do total derivatives and when u is a function of x and y where x and y are functions of t means u is a function of x and y but x and y are functions of t so the formula becomes dou u by dou x means we differentiate y u with respect to x and total derivative of x with respect to t same way dou u by dou y into total derivative of y with respect to t so this is the total derivative of a function which is a function of x and y but there is x and y are interned functions of t or it can be psi or theta or anything but we are going to first start with t we are going to find du by dt you are given u is sin of x by y as i told you u is a function of x and y okay but how are t and x and y defined x is nothing but e to the power of t and y is nothing but t to the power of t this is another type of total derivatives uh, <clears throat> in this even though this is a function of x and y these two are functions of some other variable so two variables are coming into play here this question has come in 2001 as well as 2010 and i was doing papers okay so let us start with this formula we try to find each one of them separately that's all same thing so let us do do u by do x to start with so u is sin of x by y okay what is do u by do x what is the derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x but you have a chain here please remember so derivative of sin x is cos x this is nothing but cos of x by y and you need to do the derivative of the chain so times when i do the derivative of the chain i am differentiating with respect to x so y is a constant so let me write it and what is the derivative of x now 1 So do u by do x is nothing but one by y into cos of x plus yeah sorry x by y. Keep it ready, okay? So this part is done, okay? Now I am going to do b x by d t. So what is b x by d t? You know x is e to the power of t. So x is e to the power of t. So d x by d t is nothing but e power t derivative is e power t and it is with respect to t so this is also t so dx by dt is nothing but e to the power of t. okay so we found the value of do u by do x now i am going to do dx by dt so how to do dx by dt you are given x is e to the power of t so x is e to the power of t so differentiation of this with respect to t will be dx by dt e power t derivative is e power t and we are differentiating with respect to t so derivative of t is 1 so we do not need, no need to write it okay now i am going to this is done this is done i am going to do do u by do y so what is do u by do y i am going to differentiate u with respect to y now okay so this is again chain sin of something okay so sin of this is going to be cos of x by y okay and now times derivative of the chain okay and which is a constant which is the constant now we are differentiating with respect to y so which variable is the constant x is the constant so you write x as it is and derivative of 1 by y what's the derivative of 1 by y minus 1 by y square so this is completed so what is do u by do y do u by do y is minus x by y square into cos of x by y so we did this part ready okay now dy by dt so how do you do that you are given y is t square okay so write y equal to t square and dy by dt means you need to differentiate it with respect to t what is the derivative of t square is 2t so we got everything ready just my work is to substitute and then simplify that's all okay 
So shall we do that? du by dt is equal to dou u by dou x. Where is it? 1 by y into cos of x by y times dx by dt. What is dx by dt? e to the power of t plus dou u by dou y. What is dou u by dou y? Minus minus x by y square into cos of x by y times dy by dt. What is dy by dt? Is 2t. So everything is substituted now. Now just my work is to just simplify it. That's all. So this is equal to 1 by y into cos of x by y times e power t minus into plus becomes minus x into 2px divided by y square into cos of x by y. We will not leave the answer in terms of x, y, t, everything. So, in the examination, they will ask you how to stop in terms of t or in terms of x, y. Now, we are going to stop the question by write, completely writing everything in terms of t. You will never leave the answer in terms of x, y, t. All variables should not be there. Okay. Either it should be x, y or it should be t. So, we are going to stop with t now. Okay. So let me go. Mm. You are given x is e power t. You are given y is t square. I am going to use that here. Okay. So this step comes here. Okay. So du by dt is nothing but 1 by y. What is y? t square. Okay. 1 by t square cos of x by y. What is x by y? x is e power t. y is t square. Okay into e power t. That is already in terms of t. No need to do anything. Minus 2t x. x is what? e power t divided by y square. What is y square? y is t square. So what will be y square? t power 4 times cos of x by y. x is nothing but e power t. y is nothing but t square. So just this equation, wherever x is there, I substituted e power t. And wherever y was there, I substituted it as t square. That's all. Mm, anything to be simplified means this t and t power 4 gets cancelled. Okay. And you can take this e power t and write it there. You can take out e power t into cos of e power t by t square common and write the rest. These two are taken out common. So 1 by t square and minus 2 e power t by, sorry, e power t is taken out. So minus 2 by t cube. So further if you want to simplify, this is e power t into cos of e power t divided by t square. t cube is the LCM you know, this is t minus, you can stop like this. So please remember, always stop the answer in terms of one set of variables. It can be either in terms of x, y or it can be in terms of 